All right, guys, on this job, I was called in. I was referred to this lady. She was having a problem with a leak down the basement. And uh, this is a newly renovated home. They actually moved out of the house for about 18 months. They came back in and then slowly but surely she started seeing stains in the ceiling on the first floor in different areas. And uh, they called the contractor back and they ended up calling the plumber back. And uh, they pulled two toilets up and found that the seal was compromised. So they reset them. Now she's having the same problem in the basement, so she called on me because she really wasn't comfortable with what these guys were doing and how they were approaching it. So uh, I went in, I made a little hole in the ceiling downstairs, that's going to flush the bowl, and it was raining inside the ceiling. So uh, that's what this video is about. I'm going to pull this toilet, see what's going on, and see why on a new job these toilets are leaking. Should never happen, folks. Stick around, I'll be right back. So this home was renovated completely from top to bottom. It's actually a two-family house. They have tenants upstairs. Uh, then you have the first floor, and you also have the basement. This particular leak was coming from the first floor toilet, but she's had this already from the third floor toilet to the second floor, and from the second floor to the first floor. Had to do with toilet resets. She called back the original contractor. They sent a guys back to uh, re redo the toilets. And now she's having this problem down to the basement. So I got there. I used my little inspection camera. I made a little hole, as you can see here. I used this rigid inspection camera to go up there. And when she flushed the toilet, it literally was raining inside that hole. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have to pull the toilet off and see what's going on. So that's what I did. So in this particular case here, we start, you know, bailing out all the water so I can get the toilet off. And these guys, you know, they were silicone crazy. Uh, listen, I use silicone too, but they used real silicone caulking to caulk all the toilets down. So I had a, I had a scribe around both sides to, to break the seal here so I could remove the toilet and see what was going on. But because she told me she's had this done two other times, uh, she's a little concerned now. I suspected it was the seal. I didn't know for sure. Uh, these are cast iron bends that were used with cast iron flanges. And you'll see that once I get this toilet up. Uh, and after I made my score here, then I disconnected the water line and then it was time to pull the toilet. And, you know, when I pulled it up, if you take a look at this gasket coming up, I don't even think it was touching the bottom of the toilet. So when the toilet got flushed, it was spewing out, you know, to the sides and it was working its way down downstairs. I mean, like I said, when she flushed it, I didn't have to go looking for it. It was literally raining downstairs. And I, I think what happened in this situation here is, you know, you know, when you use a cast iron bend and a flange, you know, you set it at a specific height and then the tile guys come in and if everybody's on the same page, everything uh, should, should, should fall into place. But in this case here, uh, the flange was set below the, uh, the level of the floor or the floor went higher than the, than the flange. And so ultimately my decision was to put a spacer in here. Now I carry spacers, quarter inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch. I said, the easiest thing for me to do here is to put a spacer in, which is what I did. I put, I believe it was a quarter inch spacer, half inch spacer brought me up flush, but I wanted to be a little below because in this case I used a Sani seal toilet gasket which, you know, allowed me to actually, I had to push the toilet down when I actually set the toilet on there. And I just used some silicone on here to flip it over and, and just, you know, make a, a seal uh, between the original cast iron flange. And then I had to use extra long bolts. The, these are not the bolts I used. I actually had to take this gasket off again and use extra long bolts. But now you can see it's sitting nicely above the floor. And still, I'm about you know, about maybe an eighth of an inch below the top. But when I put that toilet on, I literally had to sit on it to, to you know, get it to go down. And then once I put my uh, flange bolts on, it, it went in nicely. So naturally, you know, after I got it all done, all set, all straightened out, I flushed away. Uh, I did go downstairs to check it, but I flushed a couple of times. I wanted to make sure no water was coming out from the perimeter of the bowl. And this customer did ask me, uh, to please uh, silicone around the base of the bowl, which I did. And, uh, but I, I don't use regular silicone. I use a product called Pheno Seal, 
which is a latex-based silicone caulk. And when I caulk a bowl, I caulk uh, around the perimeter, the perimeter of the bowl, but I don't caulk the back. I leave the back open, you know, where God forbid if, if, if the seal was compromised and water were to get under there, you'd see it coming out the back. And, uh, you know, in that case, I would know that there's a problem, but I'm pretty confident here that, uh, you know, this, this all worked out because I went downstairs and when she flushed it, th there was no water leaking. But she asked me to go downstairs and could I open up that hole a little bigger because she had an access panel. I said, sure. And when I opened up that hole and stuck my hand in there, there was like black mold in there because it was raining inside this hole. So I actually told her maybe it would be in your best interest to open up this hole a little bigger and stick a fan up there. And if black mold is something that, you know, freaks her out, you know, she might want to get a mold remediation company in there. I don't know if she's going to do that, but I just told her what was going on. But uh, it was saturated up in there and uh, crazy stuff. So there you have it, guys. Um, I used in this particular case the Sani Seal gasket. I felt it was a better fit. Uh, but you know what? I don't have a problem with using wax, but this just went in so nice. And the fact that I had to push that bowl down made me really confident. Uh, I went downstairs. I asked her to flush the bowl again, took a look up in the hole, and it was perfectly fine. She's actually uh, contemplating me having come back and actually removed the two toilets that they previously did upstairs and uh, redoing them all over again because she doesn't want to know that in four or five months she's going to have the same problem. So I think there's a total of... Uh, four toilets in this house three of them are upstairs one of them's down the basement uh she's more concerned about the ones upstairs because each time they had to pull and reset a toilet they ended up putting an access panel below it uh, and as far as that uh, hole down in the basement i told her she should really open it up because it was saturated i don't know how long this thing has been leaking she did tell me that she stopped using it for a while but at any rate uh I don't get it. Brand, brand new, really, really nice construction, really, really beautiful. It was decorated magnificently, and stuff like this shouldn't happen, folks. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. More importantly, hit the like button. You don't hit the like button, YouTube takes my videos and shows them to no one. I'm glad you stopped by as always. I'm honored you stopped here because I know you have plenty of choices when searching plumbing videos. I want to say I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Stay well, guys. And as always, happy plumbing.